as time is going on, I'll, as time is going on, I, I'll start. Them. Yeah. So today our topic is like uh, being open to change and adapting new circumstances. So as you can see, I'll say um, my experience, what I've what I've faced uh, during before few years. Like I can say that uh, we have been going through COVID uh, before two years, around like before two years, I was studying in, uh, I was attending physical, physical classes and uh, suddenly COVID was affected and I came to home and I don't know like how to study, you know, I never studied before and uh, I came to home, I was studying in home itself. So, but I was like, we really worried like how to start, how to start and uh, mm, how to go through studies i i never knew uh, like you know what uh, th that is an, uh, that is a new uh, change which i need to adapt so adapting new changes is like very hard but still we need to accept the change because like in life uh, change happens change occurs definitely because you know what I, I was studying before a month before a month ago and suddenly i like i okay, i started intern uh, in Moracle Foundation and this structure, you know, uh, like a mindset training session, I never knew. I never talked, I never talked before and I don't even have confidence. Uh, but still, you know what? Uh, this Moracle Foundation gave me a, a good opportunity to sp speak myself. To speak myself and uh, I really don't know how to speak, how to, uh, how to be confident enough to speak in front of every people. And uh, I, like, you know what? This mindset training session, it was really good. Uh, I, I was learning how to how already speaking, how I was every day, how Nova and uh, Morlai are everyone like is speaking. I I am le learning from them. Yeah, like you know, uh, when when we are entering into some new uh, some new place or like uh, um, what you can say, any new structure, we need to change ourselves because uh, other people can't change it. So we need to adapt the uh, like working structure. And we need to forget the past, like what, how we are going through. And uh, we need to forget uh, our daily uh, tasks. And you know what? We are, like I was doing, I was studying, uh, I was studying a month ago and suddenly entered into work. So I need to forget how, uh, like I need to forget the, that daily task. I need to change my schedule. I need to change how to work and how to, um, like uh, how, how to adjust this, how, how to schedule my work and uh, uh studies so that i can um, manage these things you know what uh, these are the so some kind of things and uh, as we as we knew um, um, before like before coming to um, moracle i didn't know how how moracle is going to be and how this office life is going to be i, I never knew i never knew means like i never knew so uh, like you know what first first we need to accept the change so that uh, like we can we can have more opportunities you know what Muraki gave gave us me uh, gave us uh, gave us to learn QuickBooks zero and uh, like in future maybe I'm going, going I'm going to learn say, sage voting these things these are the few kind of things which we need to learn and uh, you know what real real experience these are the opportunities we will get when we when we accept the change so yeah and uh, like before, you know what? We, before coming to this uh, Moracle Foundation, I had I had few friends, and now uh, when I came to Moracle Foundation, I got like you know what? I know a new uh, Noah and uh, Arlet, Morlai and uh, Sepide, uh, Jessica. These things. Th these are like many more. I want to. I don't know how to mention all names. Yeah. Uh, like you know what? These are the. Uh, these are my uh, colleagues. Well, where I can get support. So in work, these are the friends and these are your family. These are uh, your uh, like work relations. So you know what, when we are, when you're joining in new uh, form or like new company, we need to be positive enough. You know what, when we are uh, to do that, we need to know how uh, the company structure is going to be and uh, how, how, how it works and uh, how, how the structure is like, you know what, if you stay negative and, uh, if you go into work, you can't concentrate and you can't even do work. 
that's the thing we need we need to definitely stay positive and we need to think we need we need to uh, talk to colleagues and uh, we need to know how how it is and how we need to move forward and uh, yeah these are the things we need to uh, look and uh, we need to be and fresh fresh enough i mean like when you are joining a new company we need to uh, be fresh enough fresh, we need to go with fresh perspective we need to forget and if if our if our old company is bad and if our, if our new company is uh, good or maybe bad i we don't need we need we don't need to think in a negative perspective but we need to be uh, thinking like or uh, like companies go, company will be uh, good good enough and so that i can learn uh, many things we need to be in that mindset so that we can learn many things and uh, one more thing is like we need to focus on uh, what you want to control when you when you joined in uh, new company like we need to focus on what we can control and we need we don't need to focus on what we, we don't need to focus focus on what we don't need we don't need to control because like you know uh, i i'm learning now key books so i don't need to uh, focus on wa- what i what i want to learn right like for first, first currently uh, like moragil foundation gave me one task to do key book science zero so i need to complete that instead of uh, if i ask like directly to uh, give me real work it it doesn't work right so uh, we need to do what company gives that's the main perspective uh, here we going to do and uh, we need to identify skills what companies offering so that uh, you can learn in a, you, you can learn in uh, you can learn better way in in better ways um, we don't know right like in past company we will we'll get some skills like uh, in auditing or finance like taxation here uh, here moragil is offering many like almost everything like filing returns and uh, um, taxation reporting uh, like what like uh, almost everything what is available in account yeah so that's the that's the main skill we need to learn in company what is company's offering we need to know first of all when you are joining in company uh, yeah and we need to set goals first of all we need to set goals and uh, we, we need to have a goals when we are joining in uh, new company and so that we need to work full work for one goal and uh, we need to have uh, like company's mindset and company's goal we need to achieve company's goal and yeah that's what uh, yeah that's what i want to share today and uh, yeah like if anyone wants to contribute on this topic yeah please you can thank you good morning everyone good morning no how are you good morning yeah so this is quite on the simple thing very nice so i'm being open to change and adapting to new circumstances um for me i don't believe for us to be open to change it involves um, a growth mindset we need to be flexible and also we also need to be um embracing new challenges and also a new perspective and um another thing again is about um uh, the willingness to learn the willingness for us to to do what we want to do you know because you need to be willing and then you recognize and also again an opportunity as as a good um a way for us to go rather than um a threat to us because most people when you give them opportunity they, they think as if oh you know what this is like a threat to me you know but I don't believe it's like um it's a way for us to be able to to grow in life. So for me um yes um one of the the, the the key thing or one of the way in which we can be able to adapt to changes or to within a okay or to new um, circumstance is for us to have and we need to have um, a growth mindset you know if we can be able to cultivate a mindset to see challenges as an opportunities for us to grow in life then sincerely I do believe we can be able to adapt to new circumstances. And another thing again is about um 
the way we think, how with the creativity and innovation, you know, we need to be very creative, we need to be open minded. So I believe if you if you are open minded, then sincerely you can be able to adapt to new circumstances. Because if you are not flexible and then you you are not solving problem, then trust me, when you see an opportunity, you always see that it like um, you know what, this is a threat to me. So but embrace embrace it, try to embrace um difficulties as opportunity. Try to see every difficulties as an opportunity for you to go. Another thing again is about you um it's about the learning process. You need to be very curious, continuous learning. Stay to the cause, like for instance, you know that if you learn this skill, you can be able to do several tasks with him. So you see, like yesterday night, um, who we are discussing it uh, when I was discussing it more like, you know, he asked me, say, you know, he say, you know what, Noah, he say at more cool. What what is the software that we are using in each and every stages? Let me say that dominates in every in, in the six stages. And I said, um, it's digital and d digital. And he said, oh, what you know what? He say, he say, what does that mean, or what does it tell? You? So it tells you, it tells you that you need to master it. You need to do something about it. You need to know. You need to know it. So now this is an opportunity. It's like it's an opportunity for me to go if I want to go into another state. If I want to go into another phase. So I need not to see it. Oh, this is a threat for me. I need to embrace it. Like okay, yeah, this is right. The digital is like we are using in in close to like um, about four four different stages. Yeah, we are using it in stage number three, stage number four, stage number five, and stage number six. So it's like we are using it. It dominates the whole system. So what that uh, what does that mean? It means that you need to master it. You need to know it. So you see, so the continuous learning process. We need to be very very curious and ambition. We need to be ambitious in trying to pursue the pursuit of knowledge. In trying to pursue our dream. We need to be, we need to embrace learning. So by us learning several things, it will it will enable us to be able to adapt to new circumstances. Another thing again is about um if we want it's about the communication. You know, if there is a barrier, if you are in, into a new environment and then there is a barrier in terms of communicating, then and then maybe you are not giving, then if there is a barrier in terms of your communication, in your communication, then you, I believe you, you will miss a lot. But if you can be able to clearly express your thoughts, give out your ideas, your opinion, and everyone within the kind, that environment can be able to understand what you mean. You can digest your, your, your thoughts. You can think over it. Trust me. You can they, can they they will embrace you and then you can also go into into different rooms and then see yourself as somebody that is making way or that is making a move. So it's very, very, very important for us to um take this thing very serious. So for me this is thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Noah. Thank you so much for your contri contribution and uh, yeah, like uh, for the uh, it's about uh, learning and accepting a change. Yeah, and uh, it's great to hear that you are going to learn digital. Yeah, and uh, yeah, continue. Sir. Thank you, everyone. So, Good morning. Yeah. Um, I just want to add a quick thing. Uh, um, what I think is that uh, most people uh, find change uh, hard and no matter it's a positive change or it's a negative one because uh, is, whether it's positive or negative uh, it's going to uh, change the situation you are in and uh, it's hard to get out of it and I think uh, it's all about being flexible and, and try to have that positive mindset uh, for yourself and uh, I just want to talk about one tip that I think is uh, help you with uh, getting adapted to a change, and it's uh, I think uh, learning about it. 
when something is going to happen, when a change is going to happen, I think uh, the one of the important thing is that you uh, complete, completely understand it and uh, I don't know, search about it, collect any information that you can. So you don't, you don't um, be kind of blind when it is going to happen. Uh, I think it's important that uh, you um, um, search about it, I don't know, study about it and uh, have any information, any data that is uh, about that change. So uh, when it uh, comes to, to the change, uh, you don't uh, feel unfamiliar. And um, I think uh, most of the people that fear change is uh, it's, it's the fear of that unknown uh, situation that's going that's going to be from now on. But uh, I think one of the a one tip that is uh, going to be help you uh, by adapting to a change, uh, I think is that you understand the change, uh, have information about it, and don't be uh, blind when you are going to face it. So yeah, that's it. I just wanted to add. Thank you. Thank you, Sibri. Thank you so much for the contribution. And uh, yeah, like. If there is anybody, please. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, Jessica. Yeah, good morning. Um, for me, um, I agree with what Zapita said. The fear of the unknown is, I think, it's what covers this topic. So it's very important for us to. Uh, I think for me, it is very important for us to be kind to ourselves, because even though Zapita said, um that if you know that change is going to occur you need to research about it you need to talk about it you need to like find out more about it i think there are certain times when changes happen so fast that you actually don't um know how it happens it just happens automatically and then it, it causes such a drastic change or There is no possible way. There is no possible way we always will be 100% with a change. There are certain changes that just occur automatically. So in situations like that, be kind to yourself, speak to yourself if possible. Uh, if you have like mentors or if you have someone that you know that you can talk to that will give you advice, you can speak with that person as well. But I think the first and initial thing is you accepting that there is a change and you speaking to yourself and throughout that process of you working out that change, you be kind to yourself. Yeah, that's what I wanted to add. Thank you, Sibri. Yes, Jessica, uh, like, yeah, as you said, like, yeah, we can't predict the change, and but uh, as you said, like we can, we should have mentor, and uh, if you have mentor, then definitely uh, the change, the change we expect doesn't going to be hundred percent, but yeah, we can adapt uh, for sure in at least sixty to eighty percent almost. Yeah, so thank you, thank you for your contribution. Yeah, and if anyone is there, I can please contribute. So, yeah, like, yeah. So, yeah, we are stopping here as the discussion is complete. I think no one is. Early. Yeah, already you can continue.
you know, I, I just wanted to come in to thank you for the uh, for leading us today. And of course, I've been listening to what has been said. I think all has been said. All has been said, and um, I hope everyone has picked their word and something to carry with them today and uh, throughout the rest of the week. Yeah. So thank you. That's all I had to say. Thank you, Alex. Thank you so much.